Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing great. So you clicked on this video, so I assume you love luxury bags, right? If not, if you just clicked on this video and you didn't know, this is going to be about a luxury bag. So if you are not into these kind of videos, please um, come back again when I post or upload a video about outfits and my high street or fashion you know purchases and all that good stuff so oh gosh i have never ever been that nervous about an unboxing i didn't do an unboxing on instagram because i really wanted to share it with you because you are my friends <laughs> on YouTube um, I have the feeling we have a very special connection so I I saved it for you and I hope you you like it you know what because I am very nervous can you see my hands are shaking I will talk a lot probably so I will I will put I will put a timestamp I will put a timestamp uh, in my description box below so you can click on it and it brings you to uh, the section of the video where I show actually the bag. But before that, because, because I myself, I love Hermes unboxing videos are my favorite videos for some reason. I don't know why, but I have been watching all and I tell you, all the Hermes unboxings are watched by me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and I love their stories, you know. Behind each of these bags is a story and I love those stories. So here is my story for you. <laughs> I am so happy again to be able to share uh, this experience with you. Um, because I know some of you are luxury bag lovers and you would understand if you are not into these kind of things, I'm sure you will think I'm crazy. Probably I am a bit crazy. <sighs> God. Okay, I will tell you about the procedure, how I went about getting this bag because even if you have a ton of money, you cannot just go into the store and buy these bags. Uh, tell you all about that and uh, how I am feeling because I am excited about this bag, but uh, just you know, just to tell you the truth, I am a, I have a bad conscience as well because I just bought a very expensive bag. You saw probably my Chanel unboxing. I will link it up here. It, this doesn't look like me, you know, I am not somebody who just, you know, <laughs> splurges like so, you know. It, it is not me and I don't feel comfortable with it and I have a really bad conscience about it and if I knew I'm going to get this bag, I would probably have never gone with the Chanel bag, even though I adore that bag, that bag is beautiful, but uh, you know, with the price increases, I thought I'd go for it before I... Uh, okay. I always found it very boring when people just start to justify themselves. So I'm not going to justify myself. But, <laughs> there's a but, I really don't want you to get the wrong picture of me. If you think you are going to see Hermes unboxings again and again on my channel. I'm sorry This is not going to happen because this is probably my first and my last Hermes purchase and uh, Yes, my first. Oh, no, actually it's not my first my second, but we get to it So uh, I love luxury goods, but I am uh, I think I am going to put a stop on that uh, door and uh, yes, we will see. Never say never, but I don't see myself purchasing anything that big any soon. I really hope I don't uh, disappoint you with, uh, with this. I also wanted to tell you I am not rich. <laughs> so, and this is actually my problem because I think these bags should be maybe owned by rich people and maybe that's why I have a bit, I don't know, reservations 
don't know, don't know. <laughs> I'm just telling you everything that I am feeling, you know, and I hope you can relate. I, co I ho really hope you can understand. But anyway, I am not rich. I have saved for this bag for a very, very long time. Maybe we should um, just uh, proceed and move on with this white bag. Oh my gosh, this is such a dream mom moment. And, oh God. And um, I was actually on the way to the zoo and I got the call. I was so nervous. I cried, I laughed, I was all over the place. I was very, very confused, you know. You know, you hear so many things on the internet. And uh, everyone's, uh, you know, story is different. And I think mine is very unique maybe as well because I don't have a purchase history. A funny story actually, every time I went to the store and wanted to buy something, the sales associates actually, you know, talked me out of, the per of purchasing those things. Very weird, right? <laughs> About six years ago, I went to the store here in Vienna and um, I asked them to put me on the list, you know, for an Hermes bag. And the sales associate there, she knew, she knew me actually because uh, she uh, knew where I worked and we had a chat about that and all that. And um, she didn't put me on the list because she said, um, we don't do the list thing anymore. I don't know, maybe they have changed it again, I don't know. And she told me I need to have a purchase history and purchase things that I like and then ask for a bag, for this kind of bags. I just, I am crazy, I am crazy about bags, obviously, but not that crazy. <laughs> uh, no, don't get me wrong, I don't, uh, you know, judge anyone who does that, you know each to their own you know i don't judge anyone and i hate uh, you know being judgmental so um but you know I, I just thought okay i'm not going to buy anything you know i mean three things that i have always admired by ms were the click clack you know the bracelet h bracelet then um, the a scarf and I may get a scarf at some point and uh, the Oran sandals. With the H uh, click clock, my the sale associate told me I shouldn't get it because it would um, scratch my love bracelet and uh, it's a shame for the love bracelet, right? And I really appreciated her honestly, honesty and I didn't get those. Then with the Hermes, um, Orange sandals, they told me they, the shoes are wide and my feet are very narrow, so and it is leather, it will get uh, slouchier with time, and yes, that wouldn't be something for me. So I didn't get those either. Now I needed uh, to have a purchase history with what, you know? <laughs> So anyway, and I wouldn't get anything just because, you know. And uh, granted, um, when I went to the store to try those orange sandals, it was winter. And in winter, your feet are not swollen, you know, and they are not as big as they would be in summer. About two years ago, I went to the store with my husband and with my little one. So we went to the store and I thought I'd show my husband the shoes. I ordered them to the store and uh, they were waiting for me. So we had a look at the shoes and my husband really liked them and I liked them and I purchased them. And while I was, you know, trying those shoes, I was telling um, the sales associate who was just helping me, just imagine, you know, an Hermes bag to go with it. And she told me, well, those bags you want, they are very difficult to get and you have to wait for them. And I said, well, I would wait. And she said, yeah, which bag are you after? And I told her exactly what I was after. And she said, okay, I will put it down and I will put you on a waiting list. I was like, oh. 
prior to going to the shop, you know, I watched a tons of videos. So I knew everything about their bags. I knew all the leather types. I knew about colors, about metal, about everything. But when I was there and I was, you know, on the spot, I was very nervous. And I told them, Thing. I mean, I told them I like um, this and that bag in black or in gold with silver hardware because after my Chanel gold hardware, I am very afraid of getting gold hardware on a bag because they tarnish and um, I, yeah. Anyway, I told her that and then I told her I want it to have it, I want it to be in Togo leather. Of course not. I don't, I didn't want it to be in Togo leather because Togo leather is very heavy, you know. So I came home and I thought about it after a few weeks. I had a look again on because they printed out the specifications I gave them and then get, you know, gave me a, a copy of it. So I had a look at the copy and I thought, oh my God, I told them, so I was, you know, very disappointed about that. But on the other hand, I thought Togo is not bad either because it's slouchy and I like that kind of look as well. So just leave it there and see what comes out. They are probably not going to offer me any bags because, you know, I don't have a purchase history. They, they are very rich people around here, you know, and they buy so many things. Of course, they are going to give them their bags. And these bags are very popular. You know, I have my eyes on really popular colors. So no need to uh, fuss about it or, you know, stress out about it. They are not going, going to call me. Having said that, I felt a really good connection to my SA because we talked about everything, you know, and um, she told me she has got kids and, uh, um, and all that, you know, and, um, and um, yes, and funny enough, you know, two years later, later I didn't go obviously to the um, uh, store uh, for around, for about two years, and when I went to the store to pick up my bag, she could exactly remember me and my situation and when I went, you know, and she told me, how is your son? Uh, he must be now two and a half, right? I said, yes. <laughs> and, um, and yes, uh, that, that was a really nice experience. Now, coming to the bag, when I bought this bag, they didn't, and maybe I should open it with you. Just let us open it, yes? And then I tell you if they pushed me to buy something and all that, yes? Because many people, yeah, are asked to buy a twilly or, you know, something. First of all, look at the ribbon. How beautiful is this ribbon? Uh, and the box, so beautiful. I love you already. Okay. Now let us open it together. we continue and I show you the bag can you guess which bag I got that would really be interesting for me to see how well you know me I would love that just pause this video write down in the comment section below which bag do you think I got and come back again and watch and continue watching I'm waiting write it down have you okay <laughs> so now I show you what bag I got. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. This is my beautiful bag. I told the SA I would like to have this bag in black with silver hardware 
or in gold with gold hardware. You know, gold is uh, the tan in, in MS terms, they call it uh, gold. And uh, yes, and she called me just a few weeks ago. Yes, I have waited, I think two weeks ago or 10, year, ten <laughs> days ago, I got the call uh, that the bag is there. But she told me, I'm sorry, it's not in Togo, it's in uh, Epsom. And I thought, oh my God, this is just is a dream, right? I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them I wanted it to be in Epsom. By accident, I told them, you know, Togo, which is a mistake, you know, which was a mistake. And, and I was just fascinated by this accident, this very, very fortunate accident, you know. And um, I told her on the phone, I am coming and have a look at it. And I'm so in love with this bag. And one of my specifications were that the bag has got to be in size 28 only. I was convinced I wanted, because you know my Chanel flap, oh wow, oh wow, what is going on here? I love you. <laughs> because I, my Chanel uh, double flap midi is in the same time, uh, you know, um, size with uh, you know silver hardware and i love that bag i thought you know why do it differently you know and you know silver is understated and i think silver is very sophisticated i love uh, i love it and yeah i love gold hardware as well but i think for my lifestyle you know for my everyday i mean it's not an everyday bag but for my lifestyle Silver works just so much better because it is wearable. It's not in your eyes, you know, in your face. And yeah, I think, oh God, <laughs> oh, I come back again. Just give me a second to admire this bag. I <laughs> love it so, so much. I love it so, so much. Oh. Uh, to be honest, before I opened this bag, I waited, as I uh, told you, two week, uh, 10 days, almost two weeks, to open it. And I had such a bad conscience because I just got, oh, poor me, right? I just got a very expensive bag and, you know, I thought, you know, this is just a bit excessive, you know? But now I am so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. Baby came home. Baby is home. <laughs> I love you so much. So, so much. So uh, we will uh, remove the you know, foil here. And I think I have foils here and everywhere. When I bought this bag, the sales, asset, uh, assist, the sales associate who helped me she was just wonderful. She was, you know, down to earth and nothing. And I didn't dress up for them. I just dressed, you know, as I would, you know. I had my uh, Frankie shop, um, you know, t-shirt on and a pair of jeans and my Gucci loafers. I mean, it is dressed up, but not especially for them. I, I would dress the same way if I went to, let's say, uh, Zara, right? Is it recording? Yes, it is. Um, you know, so uh, I didn't dress up. I and when I went to the store, I took my husband with me, but he didn't buy it for me. I bought it with my own money, just uh, to put it out there. But I took him with me because I really wanted to have an opinion. Not that he would uh, keep me from buying it. I told him I need somebody who tells me don't buy this bag you know but he was he is not like that he's very supportive and he loves he loves that I have a passion and all that he would never tell me don't buy anything because he knows I am actually very rational normally and I don't buy things on a whim and he knows my obsession with this bag you know every day on iPad I'm watching <laughs> a video about this bag so he was not maybe the perfect um, person to take with me to the store because he prepared me, he told me, you know, this bag is a, a once in a lifetime purchase and don't feel bad, you are not going to buy anything that expensive uh, anymore probably and um, 
yeah and if you let it go then you will regret it badly oh my god i love gray i love black and look at this beauty silver black <laughs> yes and um, yes and when i purchased this bag my SA didn't tell me I should, if I want to buy anything else or I should buy anything else. Actually, quite the contrary. I asked her if she would re recommend an insert for this bag. She said, I recommend you carrying this bag, you using this bag for a while and then see how you get along with it. And then you can always decide to get one. We have always one here. So... I didn't get an insert. Then she told me about the strap. She said there are beautiful straps if I decide to get one, you know, to jazz up my bag or anything. Not that this bag would need a jazz up, um, jazzing up. But she said again, but wait and see how you get along with this bag and then you can come back anytime. And, you know, I really appreciated that. This is a kind of says you know approach i want to see and this is what really made this brand very very unique to me you know she served us champagne with water and we sat there talked about the world basically and about the bag as well and um, yeah it was such a beautiful shopping experience you know the experience the shopping experience is a part of it you know and I would have hated it if they told me I should buy a Twilly because sorry if you have a different opinion but to me a Twilly is a waste of money mm, but again if you have a Twilly and you love it is not a waste of money for you because you love it right I wouldn't appreciate it really. Anyway, I don't need a Twilly for my bag you know if I decide to get something for the handle I get a cheap, you know, um, scarf from H&M, Zara, and so on, you know. <laughs> and, and instead of Twilly, I would buy a belt or a proper scarf, you know. But I am so in love with this bag. I'm so sorry to say. Just so sorry. Okay, I open it and show it to you. I know I have I have mixed now metals, but I don't care. I think this is really chic, and I don't like matchy matchy anyway. And I think imagine that would be gold, that would be beautiful, but it wouldn't go with my lifestyle. And all the photos I see on Instagram, almost ninety percent of uh, luxury bags are with gold hardware and I love them and you know that influences you you know and I was thinking should I get a gold but gold is not for me you know I love gold and you know this is actually the reason why I am having a, only one bracelet and I don't you know um, wear my uh, just include thing just includes that much with this bracelet because that would be too much for me too much for my lifestyle, too much for my environment, you know. So go with your lifestyle. Go with your lifestyle and not what is posted on Instagram or is hyped on Instagram. Just all I can tell you. And I can tell you, I mean, can you see I have socks on because I'm always uh, freezing. But I mean this goes so well with this outfit right i really hope i didn't give you a headache <laughs> because i talked so much i don't know how much i'm going to edit and cut away but i want this video to be a bit raw i didn't uh, write down anything i just wanted to talk from friend to friend so ah of course this bag comes with a strap and lock and all that and oh i didn't <gasps> oh god i was asking myself this bag is quite heavy um, let me see, <laughs> this is in the, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm all over the place. I promise my next video will be more structured and not uh, like this. Uh, so you get uh, two uh, rain protections for your bag, one was in there, and then you get the, you get the lock, you know, and the strap. By the way, if you uh, have made it so far and you haven't yet uh, subscribe to my channel 
what are you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe to my channel because if you have made it so far, uh, you like these kind of videos and uh, you like me waffling <laughs> about bags, right? So I would really appreciate it if you um, subscribe to my channel. I'm not going to, you know, just add this bag with a twilly or a charm or anything. I absolutely love the look of this bag. I think this bag looks cool. Some people may think this is old um, women bag. I don't care. Maybe it does look like it. That's actually a good thing because I, I, I'm going to wear this bag in 30 years. I, I see this bag as an investment bag as well because these bags, you know, don't uh, lose value. Um, quite the contrary, I could, at the moment, I could uh, sell, I could probably sell this bag twice the price I paid for because the second hand market is more expensive. So I see this bag a little bit as an investment as well, uh, but somehow not um, because I'm not going to sell this bag. I will hand down this bag to my kids and um, I'm so happy to have this bag in my collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give me a thumb up. And yes, I really hope to see you on my next one very soon. Till then, take good care of yourself. Bye bye. Ich kann es nicht glauben. In Wahrheit, ja, Sam. In Hamchi, ist die Wahrheit, 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 ist die Oh.